everyone. Today we are going to do an experiment that has to do with hibernation. To help us with the experiment today, we have my husband, Benton. Hello. When you think about hibernation, you might think about bears. If you think back to Monday's video, you might remember that hibernation is whenever bears take a really long sleep during the winter time. The purpose of today's experiment is to learn why bears hibernate and what happens if a bear does not hibernate during the winter. Are you ready to get started? Let's do this. Okay. So we have two different bears that we are going to work with on our experiment today. I'm gonna to hold them up nice and high so you can see. Our first bear, our first bear is hibernating which means he chose to sleep all winter long. In this jar right here, we have some water, and that water is cold. Whenever bears hibernate, their body temperature is really low, and they're not moving at all. So, I put cold water in our hibernating bear to show that he is sleeping and not using any energy. Can you tell us what the temperature of our bear that is awake the water in this container is warm to represent the active and awake bear whose body temperature would be normal or higher than the hibernating bear. And if you think about how your body temperature feels whenever you're out in the playground running around, you usually come inside really warm and ready for a drink. So our bear that chose to stay awake all winter long is very warm, which is why we have warm water in our container. Now, for this experiment, we also need two pats of butter. But don't worry, Benton and I are not going to be eating this butter. Instead, the butter represents the fat that each bear has inside of its body. During the fall, the bear does something that is really important. It eats a lot of food. Do you know why bears eat a lot of food in the fall? so they can store up that energy and fat to help get them through their hibernation. Very good, Benton. You're a good student. <laughs> um, so we're going to put each pad of butter inside of the container to represent the fat that the bear has stored up. And bears eat a lot more than we do, so they store their fat a little bit differently than humans do. So one pat of butter is going to go inside of our bear that is awake, and one pat of butter is going to go inside of our bear that is sleeping. Make sure you have that lid closed nice and tightly. <laughs> now, our bear that is sleeping, or hibernating, he's not moving at all. He's gonna stay very still on our table. But our bear that is awake He's up and running around, he's playing in the snow, he's jumping, he's moving around a whole lot. He's moving around a whole lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Our bear that is awake moved around so much that he leaked a little bit. That's okay. Science, <laughs> science is very messy, which makes it more fun. All right. Are we ready to compare our bear that was awake during the winter and our bear that was hibernating? Yes, let's check them out and see what the results are. All right, we have our two containers. Can you guess which bear chose to hibernate during the winter and store his fat? If you chose this container, give yourself a high five. You are correct. Look how much different our bear that is hibernating is from our bear that chose to stay awake and play all winter long. Our fat in the container, our butter, is all melted from moving around and jumping because his body temperature was way up high and he used a lot of energy. Now this shows how our body melts fat when we have um, stored energy to run around. Once the butter is all melted, it is all used up. This bear is really hungry now and he needs to eat. So what do you think might happen to the bear who stayed awake all winter when he can't find food? 
That bear might not survive the winter. Uh, that is why it's so important for them to sleep when food supplies are scarce. Exactly right. So this is why hibernation is such an important adaptation that some animals have. And remember, boys and girls, an adaptation is a special skill that an animal has to help it to survive. Can you think of any other animals that hibernate during the winter time? Bats hibernate. Bats do hibernate. So we know bears hibernate, bats hibernate, mice, and snakes. So from today's experiment, we learned why hibernation is so important for those types of animals.